What's funny is most people think of uh, furniture design on terms of the East Coast and the West Coast. Um, most people consider the Midwest flyover, so that's part of the process of uh, uh, putting this show together was to show that there really is uh, some very well manufactured, well made and well designed pieces uh, created by people with connection to Indiana. We're here in the Nysource Gallery, the third floor of the Indiana State Museum, uh, sitting among all of the pieces that make up the show called Fearless Furniture. And it's focusing on studio craft furniture made either by people in Indiana, people who were trained in Indiana, or uh, have left but uh, did most of their experiences for making furniture here in Indiana. There's a lot of background for furniture design within the state. We were inspired to put this show together because the Indiana State Museum has always done most of our shows uh, based on historical pieces. And we've done art, uh, flat art, uh, paper art, things like that. And we were talking about that we really should do a three-dimensional show at some point. And so we thought, why not do studio furniture? And for us, it was a cliff we were stepping over because we had no idea, number one, if we would find enough artists to put together number, such a show and number two, how it would be received by the public. In fact, that was one of the questions, who's your audience when we were proposing a show? And we literally said, we don't know, but we're hoping they're out there, and uh, we've been proven right. It's really been well received. I think a lot of the risks that an artist takes is, number one, they have to have knowledge of design because uh, many of these pieces, in fact, all of these pieces are functional, but you've also got to put something more than just the functionality. They also have to have it as a piece that somebody really wants to look at it, whether it's from a very high craftsmanship uh, point of view or just visually interesting and intriguing. Uh, either way, uh, that's very important to be able to have the, the knowledge of how to put that together. I think for us, this, to put it together, we uh, thought the significance was proving that there really were well-made pieces of furniture in a day and age where so much furniture is mass-produced coming from overseas and uh, just bolted together and put into your house. That's not saying it's not well-designed, uh, well-crafted, but the one-of-a-kind pieces are a little bit harder to find and we felt it was really important to, to pull that out to show people, number one, that it's out there, and number two, they could use it in their homes. I think it's far more than just woodworking uh, as far as furniture design. Uh, a lot of it is um, knowledge of what's come in the past. A lot of it is knowledge of the materials. A lot of, because obviously this show hasn't just woodwork in it. We have uh, an aluminum chair that all clips together. We have this wonderful cabinet that's all made out of reclaimed steel. Um, we have plastic, uh, lucite, so a wide variety of designs and if you really look closely at them they're all incredibly well made, incredibly well designed, nodding towards pieces from the past but definitely totally modern in their, their concept. A lot of people actually say, what's your favorite piece? I don't have a favorite piece, I find them all fascinating. That's the only negative I've heard is that it's so wonderful People want to touch it. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs>